Good evening, folks. Well, it's getting very hot and interesting. Sydney Powell, for instance. Two of her cases... It seems like, before I get into that part, two of her cases were compromised, were then denied by the Supreme Court. Arizona and Wisconsin both denied. While Georgia and Michigan have not been denied. They've been docketed. Now, what's sad is the Supreme Court has since been compromised. Why do I say that? Justice Roberts. He said an argument with other conservatives, or I should say not with the other conservatives, with the other judges, that he does not want violence in this country. He knows for a fact what the left is going to do. They're going to start violence across this whole country because Donald Trump won. You know for a fact what he, well, this is what he wants. Well, I got news for you. If that's what you're all about, I'm sorry to say this, but you're not a true judge. you got to go by the Constitution, mister. If all you're about is peace, I understand that. But not everyone's going to follow the law. The leftist Looney Tune buffoons out there, they're not going to listen to you. They're still going to be angry. They'll still go out and not obey the law. Well, also on the other hand, we're, we're going to start our own, do our own thing called the Constitution. It's called the Constitution of the United States. When full-timers get sworn in at fire departments, this is what we say. We put our hand on a Bible, and I'm just saying this as if I am being sworn in. I, Adam Henderley, will swear, swear my duties to obey the Constitution of the United States of America, and will perform my duties as a full-time firefighter. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And that's how it works. That's how you get sworn in at any fire department or any place you work at. You put your hand on a Bible and you swear your oath to the Constitution of the United States. But apparently some people don't get that. Apparently these judges don't understand the Constitution or else they didn't read the Constitution very straightly. Now, with that being said, why don't we do a little constitution ourselves? Uh, excuse me as I yawn a little bit there. When you read the constitution, they're looking at Georgia and Michigan under the same rules as they were with Pennsylvania. Is what the challenge is. Now, with that being said, doesn't I don't know if those cases will be accepted, but... It might come all the way down to January 6th when the newly elected senators will challenge it. And with the dual election process going in with the dual electors voting for another president for the states, all the states that voted dually, that's what's going to hurt Biden. This is also going to hurt Biden. Why? One. This is kind of like what happened when Al Gore ran. I mean, literally. If you do the math, I understand it was a 5-4 decision to throw out all the other votes in favor of George Bush. Now the difference. George Bush. This is how it went for George Bush. George Bush won literally everything. He literally failed every case until that part of the case and was successful. Now, when it came to other cases, who knows? He may end up winning. Though I could be wrong. I could be right. I don't know. He may win. Sidney Powell might help Donald Trump win Georgia and Michigan. But I could be wrong.
But on the other side, Georgia was a long haul for him. But with that being said, we'll get down to the Congress and the Senate part. They were counting electoral votes in Senate. Then it went over to the Congress to do the official count. Objection went in there. So they went back over to the Congress to see if they, they could do a thing. No objections there, because it was run by Republicans. And Democrats over there, but no one really settled it there. No Democrats or Republicans, no Democrats challenged it over there. It was only challenged in the Congress. So, it just kept going. And they had written challenges. They had written objections in both places. Now, if it continues that same way, they can easily do a do it. And I guess I was I did I didn't look at the Constitution correctly. All states except for DC, despite being challenged, can vote. And it's a victory for Donald Trump, despite it being run by the Democrats. Donald Trump will win 30 to 20. That's how 50 works. Donald Trump will be your victor on that day, on January 6th. Because if it works out the way we all know, because Republicans are going to challenge it in the Senate as much as they're going to challenge it in the in Congress, which is the House. We know this is going to get ugly on both sides. I'm telling you, everyone, get that bag of popcorn, kick back, and watch it happen. These Republicans, like Rand Paul, even the newly elected ones are actually gonna, are the ones that are saving us, are the ones saving Donald Trump. So you might want to congratulate them for saving us. <laughs> and they'll be the ones saving us. Even Jim Jordan said that he's going to, a senator in the U.S. House a representative said he's going to be part of it. So, with that being said, I got to do a few things, so I'm out of here. Peace.